there are many lessons that we learn from the story of Isa alayhi salam's birth. When Maryam alayhi salam was giving birth to Isa alayhi salam, she resorted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and placed her reliance upon Allah azza wa jal. Allah azza wa jal recalled her story in the Quran in Surah Maryam. I implore all of you to inshallah look at Surah Maryam, read the translation uh, for further details. But when the labor pain started coming, she 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 placed her reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah azza wa jal assisted Maryam alayhi salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided her with fruits. Allah azza wa jal provided her with a flowing river uh, from which she could drink so that she could have the energy to give birth to Isa alayhi salam. And Isa alayhi salam's birth was miraculous as opposed to the Christian belief that you know Isa is the son of God and so on and so forth. Our belief is that Isa alayhi salam is a messenger and a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was raised up to the heavens by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will return uh, closer to the day of Qiyamah as a sign from the signs of Qiyamah. These are some of the important details and facts that we must understand uh, during this season of Christmas and also the fact that Isa alayhi salam when he was born he spoke from the cradle and he said inni abdullah I'm a slave of Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal has given me a book and has made me a prophet.